On the night of July 26, 1970, Carl Hampton was shot by Houston police. Mr. Hampton was the chairman of the People's Party II, a Houston organization established by him to see his people free from the oppression, exploitation, and degradation by a racist and corrupt system bent on the destruction of blacks and people of color. John Bunchy Creer, a member of the People's Party II, keeps the memory of Mr. Hampton alive by telling the stories of what happened that night. It all started on the corner. Uh, this corner of 2M and Dollar. Well, this was the original office of People's Party too. It was just a storefront. There was nothing but storefronts here, one story. He recently called it People's Party too because he said the Black Panther Party was a vanguard party. That was the number one party. So he named his organization People's Party too. But they did everything. They followed the rules and regulations of the Black Panther Party, the uh, uh, ten-point platforming program, sold the newspaper, uh, Black Panther Party newspaper. Ten days before Mr. Hampton was killed, there was an incident between him and the Houston police. Carl came up. There was some uh, brothers out there selling the newspaper, and the police stopped, and they was harassing him. So Carl came up. Carl had a forty-five strapped to his uh, chest. And so he asked the police what was going on, what was the problem. So the police asked him what he was doing with that gun. So he told him he had the constitutional right to bear arms and carry weapons, so on, so on. And uh, so they started walking toward him. He told them to you know, keep their distance, don't, don't, don't walk up on him. So they went to draw their weapons and Carl drew his. So to stand up, they called back up, Carl, and they went backed up into the office, but then people came out, you know, and people, you know, well, you're not going to do anything, you know. So for about a whole week, this whole block from, uh, from Elgin to McGowan, you didn't see any police. I mean, because black people came from all over the city. Sunnyside, Acres Homes, Pleasantville, where Carl was from, or Clinton Park, and they brought guns. Of course, they put a rest warrant out for Carl. Our attorney, uh, Bobby Caldwell, had, had talked to the police and go to him with him to turn himself in, but Carl didn't want to turn himself in. He thought that if he turned himself in, they were going to kill him. They were having a rally at Emancipation Park. These sisters came down there and told them there were some white men up on the roof of St. John's Baptist Church right here. It was four white men up there. So it was four, it was three police snipers, and it was a news reporter. The purpose of the news reporter was he had interviewed Carl a few days before, so he knew what Carl, exactly what he looked like. So he was a spotter. So when Carl came down, him and the Barty Hill, Barty Hill was, uh, was a white guy. He, uh, he was part of an organization called the John, John Brown Revolutionary Society, which was an uh, ally, uh, you know, part. And so they came down to see what was going on. Carl did have me in one carbine. Barty had a weapon. And so when they proceeded to walk over this way, that's when the police opened fire. They shot Barty in the uh, arm or shoulder and they hit Carl. And uh, it, was a, it was a woman, I think her name was so Sophia. She was just from the community. She was in the Volkswagen. She drove up and put Carl in the car and took him to the hospital. You know, and then it was, a, it was all planned because a blocks from here, they had buses, the police. They converged on the whole area. Johnny Coward, he also got shot that day. He was behind in the alley back there. They shot, they blew his heel off. Uh, Mickey Leading was arrested that evening because Mickey came down. Mickey and Carl were, were close. They used to have classes together, and Mick was a big supporter of the party. He came down just to see what was going on, and they arrested him. They arrested anybody like that they saw. After the death of Mr. Hampton, the People's Party II, and later the Houston chapter of the Black Panther Party, continued to carry out his mission of serving and protecting the people.